That is right. We uh, have a countdown now. What is going on, everyone? It's uh, Uncle Vatred here. Welcome, Vader and Brock. Thanks for holding down the chat. How y'all doing tonight? And yeah, it's uh, Walking Dead Season 1 finale. Glad y'all could be here for it. This is uh, not something I've played in a long time. I, I, I am, in fact, late. The... The counter did say zero, and I'm just now here. I'm I'm ten ten or so seconds late. I mean, also quite a few minutes late. Yeah, I'm I'm, I'm really gonna try not to uh, not to cry again because I did cry the first time, and I'm I'm not afraid to admit that. <laughs> but no, I am um, I'm hyped to get into it. Boom. Let's go ahead and fire this baby up real quick. If this doesn't get into my system, I go to a bad place. Oh yeah, I need I need my TCH vape. All right. So We'll go season select. We'll hit up old number one. <laughs> Previously. On the Walking Dead. What if my parents There's come home my and dude I'm not Lee. there? I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Hey, there were some batteries oh, in one of those boxes. Here, you can have some too. But we'll be in Savannah, and my parents were in Savannah. They always stay in the same place when they go there. The Marsh House? Yes, that's it. Yeah, the Marsh House. You didn't come into town from the railroad, did you? We gotta go. <laughs> Yeah. Why? Clementine? Clementine! Oh no, Clem's gone. And we got bit. Yep, it all really happened. Damn. Clementine's gone. Wherever she is, I have to find her. I was so in shock the first time I played this. Like, there's no way. Together. I get fucking Who's bit? No. We'll look for Clementine together. Hell yeah. What kind of friend would I be if I wasn't there for you now? You're right. I owe her. Somehow I gotta make it right. Clementine. Hello, Oh, you son of a bitch. We're getting close. The final showdown. Adapts to the choices you make, tailored to how you play. Vernon, get out here! Yeah, we got. Hey, there Maya, doesn't have to be on? any trouble here. All I want is the girl. Give her back, and nobody needs to get hurt. <laughs> Clementine, are, are you all right? Where are you, Vernon? You son of a bitch! Holy! Who is this? It's not Vernon, if that's what you're thinking. And you should really watch your tone. Clementine's fine, but if I were you. I choose my next words very carefully. You're fucking dead! I yeah, don't know who you you're are, fucking but I dead. will kill you! Do you understand? I'm not choosing any words carefully. She knows you will. There's no negotiating with this guy. Goodbye. Goodbye. You're scared of the mosquitoes? I mean, yeah, I hate the bites, but it's not like you're gonna know if they be biting you. And, you know, not as bad as ticks. Just hold on, Clementine. I'm coming for you. Don't worry, pal. We'll get her back. All right, we got to get Clem. The team's assembled. I know, you're all looking at the bike. How's that feeling? It doesn't matter. It is what it is. 
Turn them schlitz we up. Ace time. Dean, what's up, man? How you doing? We're about to have a lot less. We'll all make sure nothing gets in. You're still the smartest fucker out of all of us. Try to find another way out of here. Hold on. All right. Gotta find our way out. Just coolers, dead bodies. Nothing through here. No, nothing we're gonna be interested Damn. in. I was kinda hoping they dug some secret tunnels or something. Nah, I you're talking. You got the vax yesterday and it hurts so bad and your mosquito bites turned swollen. I don't know, my, you might have some of that 5G magnet radiation. We're lucky there's no axe old in that You might want to hold a refrigerator time. magnet Shut up there and see if it sticks on. Could be serious. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Please, do, hey, nobody worry. think I'm serious. We'll <laughs> For the love Damn of God. Right we will. No matter what. To do that, you gotta get us another way out. All right, we'll find a way out. You guys all need to just chill out. It'll be cool. Surgical, surgical supplies. supplies. I think we we can opt to hack the arm off, but I don't think that's the best idea. It's been too long. That bite is already it's already done set. Looks like a carjack. I don't want to imagine this being used on a body. All right, here comes the rib splitter. All right, all right. Nothing in there. That's just a scale. We don't have anything we need to be weighing up right now. All right, door, rib splitter. Let's fucking go. I'll have these doors open in two seconds. I love how ingenious Lee is. He just immediately knows what to do with the rib splitter, and like he's used that thing a thousand times. If I picked up something like that, I wouldn't have the first fucking clue on how it worked. <laughs> Someone say, weigh it up. <laughs> Yeah, buddy. Oh no, you guys aren't doing the cheese thing again, are you? We, we, we don't need dreaming about cheese in all the languages of the world. One question? Sure, Maya, shoot. Ask all the questions you want. Did you install Fall Guys? I did not. I put it in the library, so it's kind of like, you know, there when I want to play it, okay. but I didn't install it. I didn't want to waste the space. I don't know how like, big Sorry, the game no. is, gig-wise. do it. Whoa! Stop! He's awake! He's still bitten! So? This is about trying to save him. At the very least, buy him some time. Do we have to cut it off, though? Fall Guys is cross-platform, so that's something I, I could play with about everybody. Is there going to be a lot of blood? There's going to be a shitload of blood. What if he dies? I don't know how big it is. That's what then she said. the rest said. of us go after Clementine oh, and got get her. the hell out of Savannah. Damn right. Let's do this. If there's a chance it stops you from turning, we have to take it. Hey, I'm laying right here. Sorry. It's not really our call anymore. I like beer yeah, cheese. No <laughs> if we take off the arm, and you don't die of blood loss. Beer and cheese, well, cheese and maybe beer. Maybe you won't die from the bite. Not a bad mix. What do you think? No, it's been too long. No. Cutting it off does maybe. nothing. Are you sure? I only know that from playing this yeah, before, but it does like absolutely got nothing. Just keep an eye on me. I get my hand Your the fate is the same clear. either way. I'm so, happy to have them if I'm going out, I'm going out with two arms. But you're gonna die. Yeah, but not in here. You guys keep an eye on that door. I'll work on getting us out of here. Lee? No. This is what we're doing, and I don't want to hear anything else, okay? There's no such thing as stupid questions. <laughs> Reminds me of the South Park quote. 
with uh, good old Mr. Garrison. There's no much. There's no such things as stupid questions. Just stupid people. But <laughs> no, that that is a good question. Sometimes you know I do be dreaming about cheese, and I don't know why. You dream about cheese too. See, everybody has these cheese dreams. What's so weird about that, Maya? We go. We're gonna have to go as quiet as possible and see if we can make it to an empty floor or even the I wasn't room. saying anything Sounds against weird. it. Oh, okay, Maya, then what's your favorite cheese? We, we can we can do a little um, cheese of the world discussion. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm not sure what kind of cheeses are big over in nice Germany. That would be, quiet, be good to know, though. Are you guys like big Gouda people? You, I, I doubt you've got craft There's singles, right? <laughs> good. Gotta get my ass off this ladder. Yeah, American cheese. You guys get that over there? <laughs> you ever just sit down at the kitchen kitchen cha ugh, kitchen table and then, you know enjoy the casual sixty slices of American cheese? <laughs> just like eat the whole block. Watch out! <laughs> oh jeez, shut the fuck up, Ben. Everything okay up there? I think I just peed myself. Yeah, shut the fuck so up, Ben. Yes, then. Yeah, sure, the canned cheese, huh? Whoa, I passed Wait, out on the ladder? Me. Jesus. Oh, God. Are you alive? Get up. I think arm... One arm or two arm, you've passed out on the fucking ladder, too. Like... I'm alive. I think. You have to pull yourself up. <laughs> oh, man, the core strength of Lee to just pull himself up of there. I don't know if Good I can job. do that. A little too flabby, but maybe if your life depended on it, you can just, you know, kind of get that Sigma strength. I'm glad when the heat is over tomorrow, yeah. So how hot is it? Like, you guys getting the blazing hot summers? But yeah, I can't say I know of anyone here who eats easy cheese, like straight out of the can. If anybody wants to out themselves as, you know, straight out the can easy cheese eater, sure. Remember when Savannah but was empty? I thought those mainly people got those to huff the aerosol. There must be thousands of them. Did they follow us here? It sure seems like it. That's crazy. They can't track. They just roam. Is it? That fucking train wasn't exactly discreet. Clementine's out there somewhere. Gobbled up and all of that. We'll get to her, Lee. We'll yeah, do we gotta get we to Clem. To. Enough Look, of talk about let's cheese. Let's get our bearings and see if we can figure out a way to make it across town. Good? I think Good. Kenny's even thinking about cheese at this point. You know he is. Ninety Fahrenheit? That is that that's up there. That's about the kind of weather we've been getting recently. Hey. What's up over here? Bell Tower. That's what's up. Huh. Yeah. That could help. Oh, Bell Tower, you say? You can jump to Bell Tower. Do we really want to try that? Nah. What's a bell tower? What's There's the no way anyone's making that fucking jump. <laughs> We gotta figure out something here. Nothing over there. <laughs> there we go, good old ladder. We'll just use it at the bell tower. Not OSHA approved, but in a life or death situation, it'll work. 
The bells. Yeah. Could buy us some time. Draw as many as we can this way. Get down off the roof on the opposite side and bust our asses getting back to the mansion. Okay, it's even one hundred. One to go. That's really hot. My leg's feeling better. Let me do it. I'll do it. Yeah, Ben will do it. <laughs> Kenny's we just like, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll volunteer like Ben. This, it should be the guy who's got the least to lose. Yeah, I'm already What's bit. What's the worst so that could happen? Let me. I get bitten again. So we're agreed then. All right. So we be bit. We got to walk over to the ladder. Hurry. Ben yeah, was fallen told. She said. All right, let's climb it. Twenty nine C for you, Europe oh, Euro noobs. <laughs> Oh. oh the fuck. Holy shit, man! Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Yeah, I'm fine. Well, Try to just find about another way out of, out of my there? chest, but we're good. It's locked. Shit. The exit in here's locked. few solid rings of this and there'll be thousands down below. Dude, Vatrid knows what to say. So we can't open the hatch, it's fucking locked. Ah, shit! Well, I guess we're pulling the rope then. They're the coming key. this way. Tons of them. Jesus. Now get back here. We're going to have to jump. I mean, since we're now like jumping onto a down slope, it you should be a little easier, right? We can do it. I think I have to jump. There's no way back. You can make it. It ain't that far. You got this. You got this, motherfucker. <laughs> Good goddamn leap, pal. Yeah, we, we Let's got... Let's get the hell off this roof! We GG easy that jump. Oh no, not the fire escape. Uh, I remember... Things don't go so well on the fire escape. Oh well, look at that fire escape. I guess things were okay. I guess I'm thinking of something different. Holy... No! The boat? What the fuck? Come on, just Kenny's come crushed. The fuck on. Well, we're not coming back here after we find Clem. That Ooh. was Vernon. Fuck. Fuck How them. How could this happen? This was Vernon. You think so? Definitely. Hey guys, Lee's right. It was Vernon and that support group. No fucking way. The ah. invalids? Their actions uh, contradict your characterization. But, yeah, the invalids. He's right. They're not invalids. They're just people. People who've been dealing with shitty situations invalids. even longer than we have. I like that. No wonder they got the jump on us. I don't give a fuck if their Make-A-Wish was a fucking boat ride! When I find them, <laughs> I'm gonna rip their throats out! We'll never fuck them. Fuck them. Yeah, cancer, Kenny, I don't no care cancer. if their Make-A-Wish was a Saint boat Center, ride. who gives a shit? The people who knew what they were doing. Yeah, screwing us! 
He says he feels bad about leaving Clementine behind, but the boat was an opportunity they couldn't pass up. Vernon probably planned this out the second he laid eyes on that boat. They fucked us! Omid, can you go over the fence and let us into the backyard? We shouldn't be out in the open. Yeah. This is not happening. Everything is so fucked. Clementine is still out there. So we get Clementine, and then what? We get the fuck out of cities. I'm done with cities. We go into the countryside and make a go of it. Yeah, that seems like a good idea to me. Nobody asked you. You just did. Don't get <laughs> smart with me, Ben. Chill. Do you remember we had a boat? A boat! Worry about the boat after. Can scour the goddamn coast looking for him. I'll make that bastard wish the cancer had got him. You're welcome to. Just calm down for a second. Yeah, chill. We can do this in the yard. Yeah, I knew right away it was Vernon. Like, the guy on the Man, radio I wouldn't have known God. about the boat in there. What Vernon would. <laughs> Get to the countryside. You dicked around with cities and coastlines and boats too long. Take her out there. Live as safe yeah, as live can, on okay? the countryside. Yeah, I would go I for nice, I think barren states like rural Ohio. There's but very few people yet. living there. So put a pin in or, that, you know, okay? go to Iowa where there was more corn than people and just where live the amongst hell the do corn. You get off? I'm just saying we should all chill. Not just you. Chill. Lee's bitten and God knows how long he has left. Clementine is who the fuck knows, and we're robbed of the only hope we've had. So? So, Lee yeah, should have so? left your ass in Crawford. Man, we got enough problems. So nonchalant. Fuck you, Kenny! Uh-oh. Whoa, Ben! No, let him. I am so, so, so sorry about Katja and Duck. I am! And I know I fucked up. But stop pushing me around and stop wishing I was dead! No! You know how they die. You've said good. No, I get what you're saying, Six. It's what I love I about never this got game. I to see my family, just like my parents, graphic my little novel. sister. Do you get that? Your family is gone, Playing but at least you've isn't had really them to fucking lose. a factor too much. I can just kind of sit and I watch never made and chat. It home. It's a good be game to stream. Alive I'm liking or it. Dead or walkers or worse, and I don't know. So give me a fucking break. Oh, Ben, I'm. Oh, they're making oh, shit. up. Here they come. In the house. All right, that was sweet, boys, but we got to get inside. They shouldn't be able to get into the backyard, right? Maybe not. We can secure this place. Krista. Get on the windows in the front room. Check the boards. Got it. Kenny. Help Krista. Will do. Ben. Go upstairs. And do what? Just go. <laughs> Omid. What is it? Front doors. <laughs> oh, son of a bitch. <laughs> Lee, help. I mean, it's not like I Cut can get bit again. There's got to be a knife or something in there. Hurry. Mmm, knife. First try. Take their goddamn arms off! Now what? Ooh, tasty. Hey, what's up, baby? Thanks for coming out. Get ready to fight. This place seems dirty to me. I think we're fine. No, we're in for a fight. <laughs> Sturdy my ass! Get upstairs! Go! Oh, hey, it's What's-Her-Face. Ah, I didn't like her too much. That was kind of cathartic. Guys, help me with this! You got it, Kenny. Everyone get to the end of the hallway. What do we do now? This will slow him down. We 
get to the end of the hallway and take a fucking stamp! We can't let ourselves get trapped. Let's get as many as we can. When we see an opening, we go for it. How many bullets y'all have? Three. Five. Four. Two. Y'all know where to aim. Get ready. All right. Only got so many bullets here. I'll take this one. Ah, a wasted one. I'm out. Me too. Fuck. Where do we go? There's no goddamn opening. Up. Go. See, this is where if you leave that like Kid Walker, it's alive up here. You're gonna have to take care of it now with everybody around. So I don't get why people just leave them up there. Oh, hey, thanks for the gun, Ben. That could have gone better. Everyone okay? Lee's still bitten. Shut up. Okay, let's get. Oh, fuck! Hit the wrong thing. Sorry. Out guys. of here and keep moving. Kid's right. Get that. We gotta keep Perfect. moving. Fire. If there's any chance we get Clem and catch up to those goddamn thieves. <laughs> They had it down. Maybe. Where we're not going out through this window. No latches, no roof access, and 30 feet straight down. Anyone have any ideas? I bet this guy would. He's got a resourceful air about him. Knock it off. Dixon Kent the Third, Industrial... Mead? Krista. Just trying to lighten the fucking tone. We need solutions, not stupid jokes. I'm sorry. So, no ideas then. There's got to be another way. Check the floor for any other access, a vent, anything. Or we wait for the house to clear out and stick to the high ground. Whoa, Lee, you okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm. I'm gonna. Oh no, I'm gonna pass out and fall. I mean, the falling thing's not new, but now I feel like Tony Soprano and his panic attacks because I just be passing out a lot. High ground. Lee? I'm okay. I'm really parents. No. Lee, get up. Did you hear that? Yeah, I did. What did that mean? She's at the hotel. Where her parents Yeah, Amid's just trying to lighten the mood. I like Amid. He hasn't moved her. Yet. Yeah. He's a shrigma. Yet. We need to start thinking about more than just Clementine when it comes to our... Urgency. What do you mean? How do we get out of here? That's the whole point. We don't know. Okay, now your life depends on it. How do you get out of here? I don't know. I don't get it. I do. We have to go now. Like right this goddamn minute. Where, Lee? Come on. We're trapped. How long you think we have? What? I... I don't know. We should have cut it off. At least then there would have been a chance. Well, you didn't, and it's too late now. I it think was we need too to have late then. An adult conversation about what happens if Lee takes another spill. Hey, look, we could be looking at a Larry situation here. Who's Larry? It don't matter. He looks fine to me. Okay, what do you want to do? Just talk about it. Does that conversation end with me getting something dropped on my head? Now, hey. Guys, I don't know what happened before Omid and I showed up, but we can cross this bridge when we get to it. Lee, I'm not advocating anything here, but how is this not a thing? We're all so worked up about Clementine that we're forgetting what the fuck happened to you. My arm is not the issue. I'm not the problem. The 500 walkers in the house and no door in this room are the goddamn problem. Yeah, maybe at the moment, but who's to say when it becomes an issue? At that point, there may not be any time left to deal with it. This is getting out of hand. You're gonna listen to me. We will get Clementine this back. This is getting out of hand. With or without there are two of them. Because I haven't given up everything to die because we were stupid. You're not touching me. Do you understand that? You know exactly what to do if I turn, and that's enough. 
Do you hear me? You might become one of them! You understand that? How can you be fucking calm about that? Ah! You ruined that dude's face. Shut up, sweetie. <laughs> we did ruin the dude's face, though. It's corroded to hell. What's on the other side of this wall? A 30-foot drop? No. This mansion butts up against the one next door. I'll be damned. This wall ain't shit. Is this really possible? Hey, everybody yeah, give it a good we can do poke. This. Okay. We'll work in shifts. Omid, Krista, and I. Lee, you rest. We have to work fast. Yeah, fuck that wall. We're gonna... Gonna destroy that wall. I wasn't gonna hurt you. I wasn't gonna hurt you. Sure, pal. I know. I'm glad you told us when you got bitten. It would have been easy not to. Yeah. Well. They probably would have let you go alone if you hadn't told us. Which would have been a mistake. If I were you, I would have been scared shitless. If you were me, you'd be a foot taller. Hey. Ha. And about 50 pounds heavier. Yeah, if Bermead wants to be cracking jokes, I'll crack jokes with him. With your arm and my leg. I'll cripple fight you right here, buddy. I would have had to chop this one off for you to even stand a chance. Wish you would have taken it off? Don't think it matters much now. I'm losing a lot of feeling now. Really? Yeah. It's hot, like when you break a bone. But tingly, like it's asleep. <sighs> so when we get this guy, what do you think? We make sure he never takes anybody from anyone again. World's got enough evil in it. And, yeah. You know. Justice. Whatever happens to you. Uh... Seriously, can we not talk like that? The entire time we were at the hospital, I could sense you think you're as good as dead. I'm bitten, Krista. We all know that's a wrap. There's gotta be something. Find her a family, okay? Somewhere she'll be safe. Don't do this. I want you to hear me. I hear you, but I'm not having this conversation. Krista. We could look after her. As long as she has a family. You hear me? Yeah. Of course. What about him? We gotta support got Ben. He's been with us the whole way. He's only a kid still. It's easy to forget that. He loses shit like that often? No. That was a first. It's good that he did. Kenny couldn't pull that shit on me. The kid killed his family, so there's been some tension there. Really? What happened? Kenny's son got bitten during a raid by some gang that Ben was secretly helping. They used him. Kenny's wife died because of their son. Jesus. Well, seems like he got through to Kenny. Whatever that's good for. All right. I'm out of gas. You look good and rested. Sure. If you don't count an infected leg. You want me to do it? Nah, and you can hop in after me. All right. We're gonna be through that wall in no time. Shouldn't be long now. It's good we're forced to take a breath. I still can't believe you went and got chomped. Just... fucking hell. At least he told us. Took some brass. I don't think I would've. How are you? Now it's finally getting to Kenny. I don't know how to answer again. That. I'm sorry. Artorius, what is up? Thanks for you coming out. More than anyone. Well, as much as anyone. It'll be all right, Kenny. He's gone too. It'll be all right, kid. Why are you acting like what's happened ain't happened? Anyway, I appreciate it from both of you. A lot of us have lost families.
take it easy on him from here on out. Man, I just can't be unusually tail. cruel to not Ben and just be like, turn him loose or kill him. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe not. You heard him outside. I did. I never really thought about it that way. Uh-oh, there's always some booze around in this house. Hell yeah. Does Scott tell you much about what we've been through? Bits and pieces. The aforementioned Larry fella? See, Lee and I got trapped in a fucking meat locker with him. He had a heart attack, so there's this guy who, I should say, was built like a brick shithouse. And we're terrified he's gonna come back and eat all of us. What did you do? We were resourceful. Larry didn't make it out. No, no Larry, he, did he didn't. <laughs> We did we kill did her that. dad. Water, under the, water under the bridge. All we can do is move forward. Well, cheers. Might as well have my last drink. Pass that shit over. Oh, yeah. Oh, she's thinking I may be a little pregnant, but I'm going to fucking chug it down anyway. Because this will probably be the last time for me, too. I'm through. Oh, shit. No walkers. Things are looking up. We busted through. We bussin'. Everyone keep a goddamn eye out. This place seems pretty sealed off. Well... Aw. Oh. Poor couple. <sighs> kind of rude. They went out together. Might have been the right choice. Smart. These are all the people <laughs> we've seen go. They got to do it their own way. Together. Yeah. Don't you say that. You stick it out as long as you can. You do whatever you have to. I could have done more. You did everything you could. No, Lee. I could have been a better husband. Better oh. father could have been a better friend. So let's figure out a way out of here. Get that little girl. We should move. Yeah. Got at least one shot left. <laughs> let's clear the room. Hey, it's got a home. shot in it. Lee, figure out. Ain't where bad. We're <laughs> yeah, Kenny, you did everything you could. Except, you know, he, well, he did say he could be a better father. So I'm like, well, you did raise duck. But even he kind of admitted, yeah, I could have been a better dad and all I guess that. Crawford would have gotten them anyway. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Who'd want to live with those Crawford dicks anyway? What's up, Ben? You still with a spin? Yeah, Lee. I just want to help. All right, he's laser focused now. It's sick, but. Think of all the pain they avoided. Omid's with me. He's like, yeah, I kind of understand what you said there, Lee. Let's look at him again. Lee, you okay? Yeah. Let's keep at it. How old is Duck? Um, Hard to believe the world once felt ten. this peaceful. Nothing other than personal uh -oh. items in here. Got a way out. Looks like we can stay off the streets all the way to River Street if we're careful. Let's go. Go ahead. Uh, 
<laughs> Man, this jump always scares me. I hate it. These things always go wrong. I feel like every season of this game has some kind of trope where everybody jumps on something, but when the last person gets on it, it ain't quite as sturdy. <laughs> And now it's Ben's turn. Ben! Oh. Fucking Ben. Me and my fucking mouth. Holy fuck! What are we gonna do? Kenny. Kenny and I can handle this. Dude, let me help you. You're already hurt. Even more reason. It's my back after work. <laughs> you worry about her. Right, I've been there some nights. And if all this goes bad, you might be Clementine's last hope. Yeah, we're her only well, hope. Keep an eye out. Guys gotta stay back just in case. Ow! Um, I'm okay! Oh, no, you're not okay, Ben. God damn it. I'm okay. Just get me out of here. God damn it, Ben. I'm God sorry. damn it, Ben. Sorry. I'm sorry. No, no, just don't panic. We're gonna get your ass up. Really? I thought you... Oh. Fucking hell. What is it? I'm okay. I'm okay. We can get you up. We can, uh... Ow! Oh. Oh. He's screwed, Kenny. He's screwed. He's not screwed! He can't die down here. What do you want There's to no way we're pulling we him off of that without it attracting all the walkers. And the thing is, the, like, fuck. positive pressure, whatever the fuck, he's going to bleed out as soon as he comes off that fuck. spike. It's like holding everything in right there. Oh, God, don't let them get to me. We got to... There's only one way, Kenny. We gotta give him a merciful death and Do you have move any bullets on. left? This has only got one left in it. I'm out. Use Shit. it for Ben. Get the fuck out of here. What? Go back. She needs you, Lee. Kenny! This is not a discussion! Oh, Kenny. Hell no, man! I'm not leaving! What did I just say? Let's get Ben and get out of here! Kenny's just so what worked up, fuck, and he wants Kenny? to finally fucking Lee, save somebody. Lee, he okay. stays for Duck, or not Duck, but Ben, who's just just as hopeless as Duck was. No, Ken. No, it's not. It's just something I gotta do. You know that. Yeah, but you don't really have to. Go get that girl. Back, you sons of bitches! Yeah. <laughs> Damn it, Kenny! Oh, God damn it! Kenny, please! Damn it, Kenny. I like how it just lets you shake on the gate to no avail. <laughs> no, not Kenny! Yeah. Fucking Kenny. What happened? Oh, he's sad. And then I pull up. <laughs> They're gone. They're gone. Spoiler, sometimes I dream about cheese. God damn. Still? God. I heard a shot. Kenny. 
Kenny made sure that Ben didn't feel any more pain than he had to. What? It was Ben's biggest fear, you know. Kenny had one bullet and that's how he used it. Oh. God, poor fucking kid. Yeah, poor Ben. He did fuck us over a lot in the early game, but... It's brutal to see him go like that, and especially when he thinks he's okay. It's tough. You saw them die? Nobody was getting out of there. I'm sorry, Lee. He did what he had to. All the way to the end. Kenny was an OG. Guess it's just us now. We should go. Right behind you. Hold on one sec. Do you want to talk? That's two on him now. The motherfucker who's got Clementine has been and Kenny to answer for. Keep a clear head, Lee. We wouldn't be out here. We'd all been together yeah. to defend against Vernon. We wouldn't be, be out, out here one. without that fucker on the radio. No one would be alive. Look, Lee, this is a shitty time, but I want to clear something up. What is it? Now with Kenny... Gone <laughs> means Omid and I have to stay safe for her. Wait, what happened to the kid Clementine? Is she dead? No, the guy that was um, talking to her on her yeah, walkie-talkie ended up this. kidnapping her That's from the I mean, house when she like ran outside well, in the aftermath of um, we when we got do. back from Crawford because we left um, Clem there, I think, with just Omid while everybody went to help Vernon raid the the school where that other group was staying before they got ran out. Because we, like, come back and we take a nap and we just wake up and Clem's gone. <laughs> Which is kind of weird because everybody's just kind of, like, in their own little world and depressed and they just don't even fucking realize that the eight-year-old or nine-year-old living with them just ran out the door and was kidnapped. River Street's just up ahead. Careful. Oh shit. Even the buildings are full. They never know where the next meal is. Be careful through here. Yeah, we don't need any more accidents. Yeah, we gotta be careful. I'm sorry. It's okay. How come I just feel like somebody's gonna fall through one of those? <laughs> Cobb Imports. Marsh House Hotel is There's the Marsh House, block. baby. Yeah, we out see. here. Well, at least it doesn't look like a death trap. <laughs> She's getting a little tired He's of his jokes. First. You're the lightest. He's got a busted leg and... You're walking for two. I'm obviously not doing so hot. Hello Since there. It doesn't make itself. Oh, a little hello there. What was that? Thank you for the 15 biddies, Vader. I'll go first, in case anything happens out there. You sure? Yeah, I mean, if it doesn't yeah. work the first time, it might as well me, be me that tests it out, so that way I just die. I've already been bit. Come on, do it for Clem. Just go nice and slow. All right, not bad, not bad. 
Oh, Moist Cheeto Juice paying forward his anonymous gift sub to Fabi. Almost there. It's an easy crossing. Good. Very pog indeed. Uh oh, uh oh. Uh, oh, fuck. Uh, 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 oh, my lord. Moist is popping off. Gifting one to Artorius as well. I don't even care that I died. That was so hype. <laughs> Lee was just hanging on there, and he's like, hold on, three gift subs, and just fell right off. <laughs> Kobe. All right, nice just and slow. Just go nice and slow. Now y'all can get your muncher emotes. This man is popping Almost off. There. It's an easy Let's cross. go. Good. There is a third tier one gifted to 666% six, six, six beer. It is a sub party, baby. Shit. Uh, Let's oh, not fuck. die this time. Oh, Maya. Are you welcome, okay? welcome. Moises Fine. is gifting him out like crazy. Fuck. Merry Christmas. What are you going to do? Fuck it, I'm going for it. Fuck it. I'm going for it. Going for it? What does that mean? It Thank means you I'm for the 15 bitten. bitties, Vader. I just have to push my way through. What the fuck? Let's meet outside of town, by the train. Are you yeah. nuts? It's the only way. It's the only way. Do you hear we me? Gotta do it. Yeah, by the train. Jesus, we'll be there. You get a gift sub, and you get a gift sub. He's going full Oprah up in this bitch. Oh yeah. We can't even feel that hand. Just dig that glass in there, Lee. We're, we're done fucking around. It's the CSGO knife. This part's just fun. Nice little hack and slash. Try to take out as many as you can. You've been bit, so you're starting to like smell like the dead, so half of them ain't even really going after you. It's almost like the guts technique. Swiggity swag, he got the stab. All right, the Marsh House. All dark and decrepit. We're finally going to get to meet this bastard. Let's listen first. And take a break. <laughs> I have to uh, get something to drink and pee. We're getting to um, some really emotional stuff. So I want to be completely prepared. And uh, so I'm going to take a little break here. And I will be right back. I'll go ahead and pop up a little 
on cinema for you. Movie. Skip it. You're going to want to see this one in the theaters. It's on cinema at the cinema with me, your host, Tim Heide. Dropped a sub over at your channel as well, Stark. It is a sub party for boys. Hell yeah. I'm telling you, if you see one movie this year, it's got to be this one. Sorry guys, I can't give great reviews to every movie I see. This one's only getting three bags of popcorn. I don't know what movies to see this weekend. Well, we're here to help. It's On Cinema at the Cinema with me, your host, Tim Heidecker. Hi everybody, my name is Tim Heidecker. I am the host of On Cinema at the Cinema. This is my show where we talk about movies and uh, review them. And uh, uh, before we get into the reviews today, I want to apologize for my behavior last week and it's just unacceptable for me to say I didn't see these movies. The truth is I did see them uh, and, uh, and, and I, don't, I was uh, under a lot of stress and pressure with my health and uh, personal life, but uh, I can assure you that um, I've my, got some good news about my health, uh, that I'm in good shape and uh, personal life's a different story, but um, I want to apologize to you, the audience, and also to my guest today, Greg Turkington. No apology necessary. It's just fun to be here and be part of the On Cinema family. Well, I put you. I feel like I put you in a weird spot last week, and uh, I apologize. I was glad I could cover because I had seen the movies and uh, liked them both quite a bit. Okay. Well, uh, speaking of which, your your project where you're doing your Guinness Book World Records is still mm -hmm. raging. I heard but, uh, it's looking pretty good. Looks like I'm going to be the newest uh, entry in the Guinness Book of World Records. Greg's competing to be in the Guinness Book of World Records for watching uh, 500 movies in 500 days. Well, I'm not competing against anyone. We sort of uh, looked in the book, and no one else had done this, so I thought it was something to try. We're 15 days in, and I've watched 19 movies, so I'm four ahead. I just have to get to 500 in 500 days, and then. Uh, Submit my form, and then I'm in the book. All right, well, part of history. Yeah, everybody, uh, show Greg his support. I'm showing you my support. Is there anything I could do? Let me know. Today's come, come to some of the movies with me. I'd like to because we actually had a. a I don't want to say it a date. We could have called what they call it now, bromance, uh, where it was uh, Greg and I went and had dinner together. It was really nice, and we uh, saw a movie. Uh, and um, I, I, I think that, uh, if you're not doing anything tonight, I'm gonna. Uh, I am doing something. I was going to go watch the Indiana Jones trilogy on the big screen. Take care of three movies. That'll really put me ahead. So you should come along. I don't want to see three movies uh, tonight, but um, skip the first one. Come for the second two, and um, could be fun. Yeah. What time's the movie at? First one's at six thirty. Karab is at five thirty. Four forty-five, because they're kind of slow. Okay. Kick-Ass Two, starring Jim Carrey. Another great Jim Carrey performance. Chloe Clo Cho Chloe Tr Chloe Clo Cro Chloe, Clo Ch Chloe Grace Mortre Mortez, Alan Taylor, Alan Ta Aaron Taylor Johnson, and Christopher Mintz Plas. Made up names. The costumed high school hero Kick Ass joins a small group of normal citizens who have been inspired to fight crime. The Red Mist plots as an act of revenge that will affect everyone Kick Ass knows. I went to see this, and uh, at the end of the movie, I stood up and uh, I. So thank you, Jim Carrey. Always thank you, Jim Carrey. Now, I got to tell you something. I did not see the first Kick-Ass, so I walked into Kick-Ass kick 2, lost and completely confused. I didn't know what was going on. Completely disoriented, and I still love the movie. I love the movie. I feel bad for Jim Carrey because I feel that an opportunity was lost. When you call a movie a controversial name like Kick-Ass, you're going to lose half the audience segment right away. If they call it Kick It, and kick it too, people will be more likely to take their kids to it. Kick and I butt. think you do. Even that, you know, I think you want to have something that grandparents feel good about taking the kids to. And I think Kick Ass is a great movie, but a bad title. I so. just thought a, a brainstorm idea if Jim Carrey's watching, if you could do a movie called Kiss Ass and he would be the teacher's pet. That could be funny. A brown noser type movie where he's the, perhaps he's the uh, star student, uh, but he would have to be an older student, so it would be a back to school kind of scenario. And uh, I think that would be a lot of fun, and I'd love to see that movie. So if anybody's writing that movie, let me know. I'd love to be in it, too. That would be wild. All right, our next movie is Paranoid. Let's f***ing skip many, this what, movie. Did you rate it? Um, I'm giving Kick-Ass 2 one bag of... Uh, one soda and five bags of popcorn. So five bags of popcorn and one soda. 
Uh, very disorienting film, but then I went back and watched Kick-Ass 1 and loved it. So I got caught up uh, with my the way I understand the movie. So how much do you give it? I'm going to give the movie five bags of popcorn, and I'm going to give the title zero bags of popcorn, because I think with a better title, you'd have... Zero bags for the title. All right, How let's do a new segment, uh, not a new segment, Greg a new segment be. called On Cinema, uh, On Location. And we did one last week, and people loved it. So what do you got uh, for us this week? This one's even... And I'm going to save On Location for later, because we're back in the game. How y'all doing? Thank y'all for sticking around. Let's open the door. Oddly quiet. It's a little too quiet. Who the you hell are you? Joining rooms. I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna kill you. I have a gun. You look horrible. Go over there. Seems sussy. Put your things down. Let me out! Who's out there? Quiet, please, sweetie. Your things. There. Oh, really? You're gonna make me do this? This is all I've got, okay? You travel light. I don't believe you. I'm bit. What do I have to lose? That's everything. Go ahead and search me. No, I'm not touching you. Just sit down. Do you know who I am? Now bend over and pick over the soap. Oh no. Now we're talking some Oz yeah, business. I know who you are. You saw my car. Out front then. You see anything else you want in there? Not a whole lot left. I did take from you. Yep, Your so. People didn't. This is the guy from the I end of episode two whose car Clementine was just left said. abandoned that everybody Why stole shit you? out of. She didn't want me to. She didn't want you to do a lot of things. What do you want me to say? I don't want you to say anything. I want you to know what happened. Have you ever hurt somebody you care about? Yes, of course. Who? My wife. Clementine said she wasn't with you. I heard her a long time ago. How? Doesn't really matter, it dude. Matter. I don't know you. If you say so. You're not getting my whole life story. I hurt her. So bad. My son Adam went missing. I took him out hunting even though my wife said he was too young. I figured he had to learn. I came back without him and the look on her face said... You are a monster. We all went out looking for him. We never found him. I hurt her so bad. And then we came back, and all our stuff was gone. Your people, Lee. That asshole in the ball cap. His stupid fucking wife. I could have earned her trust back if they hadn't made our situation so desperate.
It's not my fault. The hungrier we got, the more she blamed me. Until she finally took our daughter Elizabeth and left. They didn't get far. I found them a day later in the road. Shit. Do I look like a monster to you? Yeah, um, after you took Clem, you fucking are, dude. Yes. If you think that now, you just wait. I'm not like you. You killed a man with a pitchfork right in front of a little girl. It's more complicated than that. You abandoned a defenseless, grieving woman. You weren't there. You brought her to the most dangerous place in this city where she could have died. I couldn't leave her at the house alone. She would have been better off! Oh, really? I mean, I came back with Clem. You didn't come back with your kid. How could you know all this? Yeah, did Clem tell you all that? Son of a bitch. You're a monster. You're a murderer and a thief. And I'm going to hurt you so bad. Just give me Clementine back. I'd rather kill her myself. Because that's what will happen if she goes with you. After I found Clementine on my radio, I wasn't even mad at you. I was coming for the others. Oh shit, sorry, hold up. For revenge. There we go. But the more I heard about the things you did, and the danger she was in, our plan changed. Lead, listen to me. I need you to hear this before what happens next. I can take care of her. We can have a family. Yeah, because you did such a great job I with the bet first you one. you don't even know how old she is. She's eight. Wrong. She's nine. But her birthday was six days ago. By a lousy six days. I know how to be a dad, you know. She wouldn't be exposed to what she has been with you. That's not happening. You're crazy. Keeping her with you is crazy. You'll have to kill me. Yeah. I know. Hey, honey. I think this is all gonna work out. What are you... I'm glad too. I wish it wouldn't have had to get this bad, but... It's all over, hon. Isn't it? Oh, Clem's so about. smart. She knew I was I gesturing towards the like bottle. I Proud dad moment. Smile. I miss you so much, Tess. You're gonna like Clementine a lot, though. She's not Lizzie, but she's sweet. Yeah. She wouldn't hurt a fly. <laughs> All right, gotta make our move. Choke him out. Going as fast as I can, goddamn. This is what you do to the Clementine Rule 34 artists. <laughs> GG easy, my dude. You know what? You're not even worth the bullet. He... he could come back. It's okay, sweet pea. We're leaving. Good. 
I'm sorry. by followers, primes, I'm sorry. and viewers on stream.store. It's, okay. it's okay. The Vodka. Uh, hello and goodbye. Aloha. <laughs> no droids. You look horrible. That's what he said. Let's just get somewhere safe. You don't smell good. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. I don't smell good. Did he hurt you? Did he hurt you? No. Not really. I'm sorry, Lee. Clea, it's don't okay. Don't be sorry. We need to get you somewhere safe. It's not and your we fault. We have to talk, okay? Yeah. Everything's okay now. We need to figure out how to get out of Savannah as fast as we can. I'm sorry you had to see that. He was going to kill you. And take you. Yeah. Which way out? Through there. Ah, oh, thank you, Clem. Can look in the bowling bag and we see the wife's walker Jesus. head. Don't look in there. The the cursed bowling no, ball. I know. <laughs> Clem's already like, yeah, I know. He talks to the head all the time. I'm so close to death, he can't even smell me. It... it didn't bite you. Yeah. I know it. Must have... You're covered in all that gross stuff. I had to get through a bunch of them to get here. Yeah, all the guts I'm covered That's in. We'll get out of Savannah. I gotta cover Clem in him too. This is the only way. No, it's gonna be kind of gross, but. They smell horrible, which means you have to too. Yuck. Okay. She's down for it. Ugh. Oh, no. DTZ. Yeah, down to zombie. All right, a nice intestinal necklace and little guts, and I think you'll be just fine, Clem. Now let me just get your back. Are you done? A little more. I want to be sure. There. That should do it. I hope so. And you're missing something. I thought it was gone. I thought you were gone. Thank you. Stay right next to me. You walk very slowly. Don't look around. And don't panic. Mm-hmm. I'll keep you safe. Oh, and it's gonna rain. Sons of bitches. Not good, not good.
Alright, we're gonna be okay. This is fine. That one bumped me, but it's good. These things bump into each other all the time. It's all in the smell, baby. Oh, no. Clem's parents. Oh. Man, I don't know how we got to safety Please, with wake up. little nine-year-old Clem dragging me dead. away. Please, no. Lee, I, I was so scared. I, I, I thought you left me. I, I, I saw my parents. Come here, sweet pea. They're dead. They really are. As fast as we can. Well, we can't. There's thousands of them outside. We have to. I'll protect you. We'll push no, through. No, no, that's crazy. I saved you. We're safe here. I locked us in. Get that door open. I can't. Gotta make like a beat Do it. off. Y'all have fun. All right, Fabi. See you later. Have a good night. Thanks for stopping out to the stream. It was only a little open when I found it. I closed it to keep us safe. Pull on three. One, two, three. <laughs> yeah, we ain't getting this up, are we? See? Clementine, honey. What, what happened? No, 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 that's, that's not, no, 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 no. Yes, Clem, it is. <sighs> There's no time to be upset. Okay, I'll try not to be. Yeah, Clem, I'm done for. I think there might be a way out over there. Good, good girl. Let's go. Uh, I might be a little slow. I'll help you. <laughs> this is just too sad. I can't. <clears throat> I got you. You can lean on me if you have to. I'm okay. I'm okay. I thought I was helping by bringing you in here. Oh, you did, honey. It's awful out there. But they would have chewed me up. It was hard. I don't know how you did it. Yeah, I don't you know how you do drug me in here either. Okay. That's actually impressive. Keep going. We're almost there. Get up, Lee. The door is right here. Come on, you gotta get up. No. Damn. <sighs> we can't. can't. You have to. This is it. Damn, I can't move. This is it for me here. Please, please try to get up. This is so sad. I can't. You don't have much time. You gotta do something. Fast. Like what? You're gonna have to make sure I don't turn. You won't, though. 
them. I will. You know what you have to do. No. I can't. There's no way. We'll figure it all out. Don't worry. The way out's through there, Clem. I know. Just start by getting that door open. It's locked. It's uh. no big deal. It's just a glass window. Uh. Uh. Ow! Not with your hand. There's a baseball bat under the counter, Clem. You can use that. There you go, Clem. Now take a big old Use swing at that window. that window. So you can reach in, okay? Okay. Watch out for broken glass. Good job. <laughs> Don't be afraid of him, honey. You're smart. He isn't. You're smarter than all of them. There's a chair over there. Grab the chair, Clem. Use it to reach in to the lock. Yep, reach in, do the lock. Then open it. He's, he's trapped. This will be easy then. He's got keys. Probably to that door, and everything you'll need. There's keys, and a gun. You're gonna need both of those. You're doing really good. There are handcuffs on the ground. Get them. Okay, Lee. Put the handcuffs on me. Attach me to this. What? Why? No matter what happens, you're safe then. Uh, I don't know. Just do it, sweetie. Make sure they're tight. I don't... I don't want to do this. You have to. It'll keep you safe. You only have to deal with him now. He's trapped over there. If you're careful get what you need from him. And the keys, and then the gun. Yeah, the keys and the gun. Just don't be afraid. If anything gets dangerous, you're faster than he is. What should I get first? Get the gun, Clem. Always the gun. Started out in cuffs and ends in cuffs. Yeah, I never really noticed the... The symmetry there until he pointed it out. Get him! Get him! Grab it! Get him! Get him! Can't do anything. All I can watch do out. is watch. I'm so, so helpless right now. Oh! The bat, Clem! Get the bat! I'm handcuffed. Shit. Kick it. Kick it. Oh, nice swing, Clem. There you go. 
surprised Leah survived all these head injuries so quickly. And all these fainting episodes without eventually turning or dying. <laughs> I did it. But yeah, you did I it. Got him. Good job, Clem. Strong, Clem. You, you can do anything. But I'm little. Doesn't mean nothing. You go see bad stuff, but it's okay. My parents. It's so horrible. I, I can't imagine, sweet pea. And now, you. Please, please don't be one of them. Please don't become a walker. There's only one thing you can do. You know that. I don't know if I can. You have to shoot me, honey. Lee, no. Have to do it, Clown. It's okay. It's this is okay. the only way. Megan, first days we met. Do you remember? Yeah, I do. When I went out to rescue that boy, Glenn. Met a girl. She'd been bitten too. All she wanted was to not come back as a walker. Lee? And I remember how hard it was to do that. But I'm glad I did. You don't want to see me like one of them. Okay, Lee. I can do it. I I can. Find Domit and Krista. They're outside of town. By the train. You remember how to get back there? <laughs> yes. Good. They'll take good care of you. <laughs> and Clem. Keep that hair short. Keep that hair short. I will. I'll cut it myself. Great. Good. And also... What? What is it? No, don't worry. All right. Oh, it's you. Gonna miss you, Clem. Me too. Had some good times. And you gotta do it. The Walking Dead. Rest in peace, Lee. Magnificent bastard. Alright. So here's our final decisions. A majority remove their arm, but, you know, it doesn't make a difference either way. Me and a minority of people, only 46% lost their temper with Kenny. It's still about half and half, though. That's not bad. Me and 70% of players kept our weapon, for sure. 
90 percent of players killed the stranger wow and the only one that's even more one-sided is 95 percent made sure lee didn't turn <laughs> only five percent just left him there wow defended kenny in the drugstore talked him down from ignoring his son's fate killed his son so he didn't have to was lost to the herd trying to save ben Found water for Duck when he needed it, and Katja shot herself. Restrained Larry while Kenny crushed his head and he died in the meat locker. <laughs> Louie, you called her a bitch when you first met. You backed her up when the supplies went missing. You left her on the side of the road. You chose to reveal your past to her. Omid, you helped get onto the train, separated after you crossed the sign. Okay. Stood up for Ben at Crawford, asked Ben to help find Clementine, fell to his death in the Savannah alleyway, saved Carly's life at the cost of another, agreed with her to tell the others about your past, defended her against Lily's accusations, and then was killed by Lily. Met uh, Krista on our worst day thus far, revealed the bite, told her and Omid to meet you at the train, Asked her and Omid to find Clem a family. Doug told him he was a strange guy. You weren't wrong. <laughs> you were with him when he found your brother. And he died when the walkers attacked the drugstore. You helped save his life, Duck's life, back at Herschel's. Argued that he was not bitten. Shot him before he could turn. Let him be your sidekick and solve a cool mystery. <laughs> Boom. And end credits. Atop the crags and cliffs, the air is thin. So we'll find a mountain path on down the hill. I think we do get a little scene after the credits, so we'll have to. I think we'll have to stay for them. <laughs> Skip and stones, braiding hair. Last year's antlers mark the trail. Take us back, oh, take us back, oh, take us, take us back. Oh, look at all those zombie voices in the cast. It's amazing. Who'd have known the zombies were such a diverse voice cast? It's <laughs> a lot of people. 